Welcome to the video on the double magic loop. Now the double magic loop came about by people who wanted to knit a crochet in the round but they didn't like the little hole when you do um, a chain um, loop in the middle. The single magic loop is also there but I never use it and I will tell you why. If you chain, if you do a normal, a normal chain, you've got three strands of yarn that run there. I'm chaining very loosely so that I can show you. Okay, you will have the two strands of yarn that make up the V plus there's another strand of yarn that runs at the back that forms the back bumps. So if you do a chain loop there's three strands of yarn that carry the weight and the tension. But if you do a single magic loop there's only one and that is why I never use it. So be very careful if you decide to do a single magic loop. Or rather, don't do it at all. Because that is the one that is notoriously known for um, coming apart in the wash and suddenly your entire project is gone. Okay, so here's the double magic loop. Put your tail in your hand. Now I use three fingers. You can use four, doesn't matter. So we're going to go once, twice, and the third time you throw it towards your wrist. So it looks like that. Let's go again. Tail in the palm of your hand. Once, twice, third time towards your wrist. Now you insert your hook underneath these two strands on the fingers and you drag out that one that you threw towards the wrist. Drag it out and you turn as if to crochet. Now it looks like that. Can you see there's a little twist there? That's what you want. I normally chain one before I take my fingers out, but my tension is very bad now, so I'm just going to hold it very gently. And you chain one to close your loop, and you can pull that chain really tight. So what you've got now is this. You will see that the tail is on this side, and you are going to crochet in this direction, away from the tail. That's very important. First important point, you crochet away from the tail. So if it was looking like this, then you would know your magic loop is the wrong way around, turn it back. You need to crochet away from the tail. The second thing that you need to remember, and this is what people do not teach you in the other um, YouTube videos, this is a little tip or a trick to ensure that you can close the magic loop easily. You need to pinch these two that you are going to crochet under because they will twist and turn and then you battle to get the loop closed. So let's pretend I'm going to do uh, half double crochets. I'm going to do nine and then I'm going to close the loop. So the whole time I'm pinching here to prevent these strands from rolling. Okay, don't worry if your tension is terrible, just keep an eye on those two strands of yarn, alright? One, and I pinch, two, you see how it wants to start rolling? I don't want that to happen. Three, hold them, hold them, and four, and I'm still pinching, five, and my fingers are moving too far away, let me move a little bit closer sorry let's just retake a grip in another one I don't know how many do I have now oh, oh, oh. one two three four five six seven eight and nine now the whole time I've pinched those two so there's only one little twist can you see okay when you've done round one extend your loop and uh, remove your hook and turn the piece of crochet so that your working loop and your working yarn is at the bottom and your tail is at the top. Now many times you will find that the tail is twisted in between so take the tail out from the other strands of yarn so that it is sitting on its own at the top. Now you've got two strands here one of them is going to move. If I pull the tail now I can feel with my finger which one has moved because it will be smaller than the other one. Now if I didn't pinch the yarn here it would have looked like this 
and that is where the problem comes in. The more twists you have there, the harder it is to get the loop closed. Okay, so now we know here's the big one and here's the one that moved. Now we're going to take the one that has moved and we're going to pull it from the top to the bottom to close the bigger one. Look what happens. As I'm pulling the small one, the big loop closes. Right, now I've got the big loop left and my tail. So now I can just take my tail and I can pull my tail to close that big loop up. I'll come here, would you? There you go. Now if you pull, that big tail will go away. There you go. And you've got a nice tight little circle. All you need to do now is close it with a slip stitch and carry on with the second round. Brilliant, eh? Nice and tight little hole, not a big hole. But remember, you've got two strands of yarn that secures that. The bigger the project, the more tension here in the middle. Don't ever do a single magic loop. It's not worth it. You're going to cry crocodile tears when your crochet becomes undone. I hope this has helped you.